We come to you live on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by the pride of Plainfield, New Jersey. He was born to run the fast break. It's Jay Williams. Dissing the ball left, dissing the ball right, making the right play at the right time, because that's what guards in Plainfield, New Jersey do. Let's see what they do on the court this evening. It's time to hoop it up. We are ready to go. Opening tip controlled by the wings as they get in first. We're underway. She can't knock it down. Layup chance. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. And did you see the lift on the shot? Did you see the ball release off the hand? To be able to have the concentration to finish with such a feathery touch in the midst of contact? That's something special to watch. That's denied by Howard. Here's the shot, denied. That's gonna be out of bounds. Wings have it. The shot here blocked. That's going to be out of bounds. Shut that down. Shut that down. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Knock loose. Wings have it. From in close. And count the basket inside. Just remember an old saying here, you're only as good as your last shot, and your last shot went in, so it's time to get going. Knock loose. Wings have it. It's early. Get a good quality shot here. Over and back. Knock loose. Wings have it. That pass taken away by Seattle. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the top. Walsh it up. Down the lane to lay it in. Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart may have played at UConn more than a decade apart from one another, but both of their basketball IQs are off the chart. They really know how to read one another on the court. Knock loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Has a look. Add two points to the board. A lot of people don't know this, but Brianna Stewart actually scored the most points in the league last year at 742. Although Liz Cambage of Dallas actually had more points per game. Either way, Stewart is a big time scorer and she always delivers. Here comes the screen. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Nothing going here on that drive. Has a chance. Able to convert inside. Liz Cambage, the Aussie, the leading scorer in the WNBA last year at 23 points per night. That was an easy one. We get a whistle and a timeout as they will get together and talk things over.
mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Wings have it. To the rim. And score. Strong take. I'm a little bit confused. Was that a well-designed offense or just poor defense? Maybe a little bit of both. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Wings have it. Lost it up. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. Skyler Diggins-Smith, an all-star four of the last five years. We all saw what she did at Notre Dame, leading the Irish to three straight Final Fours. Layup try and scores. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Layup chance. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. I'm telling you right now, with moves like that, scoring is not going to be an issue tonight. Watch it, watch it, it. Knocked loose. And that one is out. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Diggins Smith with the three. Oh, good offense beating good defense. As a defender, you should take it personally when a contested three goes in. That's good defense, but it's not good enough. Now a shot rejected. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Great defense forcing the miss. Shooter shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. From in close, it goes down. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Knocked loose. They love this hustle. Walsh it up, and the nice finish at the rim. If you don't know the name Diana Taurasi, you need to. DT tied for third in the league in points per game last year at 20.7 per night. Although she won that title five times and is, in fact, the leading scorer in WNBA history. Cash is in for two. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, I know exactly how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and then you can get it any way you want it. To the rim. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Because in certain players' mind, it doesn't matter if they're amongst the trees or not. They're always going to be the giant in the paint. Knocked loose. That one's going to be out of bounds. Deep three at the buzzer. A three-pointer at the buzzer is good. They can check it all they want, but that clearly was fired in time. And it gives them the lead after one quarter.
second quarter is set to start. Neither team set the tone to start this one. Jay, do you expect that to change? Well, first off, I'm going to take my analytical hat off and then put my fan hat on. This has been a blase first quarter. Not good, not bad, right in between. Let's see how both teams come out and try to adjust themselves in the second half. That one's stolen by Dallas. Lost it up. Missed it. Almost a foul. They let it go. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Layup try, gets to the basket, and scores. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Knocked loose. Wings have it. When it's a tight game, those missed opportunities on the road make it tough. Storm have it. We're going to see a team take the lead here. Wings have it. Off the pro hop. Strong footwork. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Buries the wide open three. That's too easy. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jogging back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, you want that? Come on. Layup, got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. could sense that coming. Mm, there is a premium market for players with that type of hand-eye coordination. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. No doubt about where that one was headed. That pass taken away by Seattle. From in close, off the assist. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. And strokes it. Old school equals high percentage. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. 
Walsh it up. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Counted. Old fashioned three point play. Trying to cash in, gets it to go. Someone clearly missed their rotation. Man, if we were at Rucker Park right now, everybody would be wilding on the court. Guarantee it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Oh, this is easy. This is easy. A shot rejected by Cambage. Count the basket inside. I've known Sue Bird since the high school days, and I cannot believe she still has it. Her accolades are ridiculous. She became the WNBA's all-time leader in games played last season. She also became the first woman in league history to play 500 games. That's pretty incredible that she's still this good. You got me left? Screen left? Shot clock. It's coming down to four. Now down to three. Has a look. It's good. That's dangerous. A little hezzy cross and knockdown. Lots of options going to open up as the game unfolds. Knock loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Yeah. Knock loose. Storm have it. The shot blocked. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Knocked loose. To the rim. Finishing inside the paint on that one. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Lost it up. Oh, nice pass there, but she couldn't finish. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Layup try. Yes. And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Good, a three-point play as they move in front here just before the break. Wings have it. Great pass to set it up. Layup chance. Layup goes down. Well done. Plays like that remind you why Alicia Gray was the Rookie of the Year in the WNBA in 2017. Oh, too much contact. Free throws on the way. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots each and every one of them. First try at the line, no good. And the rebound taken by Cambage. Knocked loose.
from in close. Nice pass to get things going. Another bucket there, but she's got a long way to go to equal the record she set in July of 2018. That day, she set the single game record with a 53-point afternoon against the Liberty and then added 35 more points two nights later. Late heave to beat the buzzer. That's it for the first half as the Wings have the lead. Tight game through the first two quarters as we resume play here in the third. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Don't rush this now. The game's been tight so far. Storm have it. Walsh it up. Count it. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. To the rim. And count the basket. Liz Cambage, the Aussie, the leading scorer in the WNBA last year at 23 points per night. That was an easy one. Here comes the screen. Knocked loose. Keeps the ball in bounds. That's what you want to see. Has a look. And the rebound pulled in by the wings. Storm have it. Knocked loose. And that's going to get out of bounds. So possession will stay right where it is. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Shut that down. Shut that down. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Turnover gives them the possession. Has a chance, knocks it down from mid-range. I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's so hard to guard a bad shooter. Their form throws your pace off on how you defend it. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Screen coming. Wings have it. Lost it up. And the finish at the rim. And cutting hard in transition is one of the most underrated things about this game. The harder you can cut is the more it opens up the floor to make plays just like that. That's going to be out of bounds. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Knocked loose. That's going to be out of bounds. Get the cameras out. Flash on. That's going to make a nice poster. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. One of the shot clock. Hoist a three, that's how you defend. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there, utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. Layup try, gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Here's lesson number one. When you allow a player like that the freedom of space to dance with the ball, 
there's no telling what kind of breakdance move they might hit you with. Knocked loose. That's going to be out of bounds. Screen coming. Screen, screen on the right. Shot clock winding down. One of the shot clock. Points to three. Oh, that's how it's done. Look, that shot was going up regardless of what the defender was trying to do. That's called a heat check. Storm have it. Knock loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Scooped up. Going the other way. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Able to convert inside. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Layup chance. Right down Broadway, 4-2. Okay, you don't get a 10 for style points, but it worked. Diggin Smith for three. She misses. It's no good. And it's Howard there to grab the rebound. From in close, cruises inside for two. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim, and the rest was all net. Stolen by Dallas. Walsh it up to the rim. Lays it up and in. The pass was really good, but what I love most about the play, Ed, was that every player that ran in transition had active hands, which means they were active targets. They provided a target for the player to deliver the pass. That's how you work together as teammates. Here comes the screen. And that one is out. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Five on the shot clock. One of the shot clock. Hoist to three. Can't go down. Smothering defense. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To the rim. And the rebound pulled in by Stewart. Knocked loose. Wings have it. 
has a chance. Wide open look, won't go. Knocked loose. Open look now for a three. It's good. Defense has to pick things up. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jogging back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. A shot at the buzzer. Third quarter comes to an end. The fourth quarter on the way. The Wings own the advantage. We start the fourth quarter, and they'll be looking to finish strong. And when you play stingy defense on one end, the other end takes care of itself. Knocked loose. Wings have it. You got to go for the score here right now in this possession. Lost it up, and the rebound pulled in by Stewart. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Oh, oh, she got there. I love when I see a defender stare down her opponent. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Here's a right corner three. And she's got it to give them the lead. Just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you. At the end of the game, when players get tired, they listen to what the assignment was, but they didn't hear what it was. Curling inside. Oh, oh denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Yes, for every tough shot you make, buy one, get one free. The passing has been great, but the movement without the ball has been even better. Seeing a play before it happens is a skill set a lot of people don't talk about. But a great pass combined with great movement? <laughs> Good luck with that. Layup try. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. It's theirs now. Now she'll take the catch and shoot three. That is no good. She can't hit it. That pass taken away by Seattle. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Layup chance. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. We get a whistle and a timeout as they'll take a moment to talk things over. And this is where habits come into play. Players think they can turn that switch on and off at their beckoning call, but it doesn't work that way. That's why coaches talk about practicing good habits on daily basis, because they show up in the fourth. Super for three. It's good. And they're starting to open up the advantage. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Catch and shoot, fires the three. That misses, shot no good. And the rebound, pulled in by the Storm. Knocked loose, Storm have it. From in close, and counted at the rim. Oh man, I'll tell you, Sue Bird has been at it a long time. She's an 11-time All-Star, the WNBA's all-time assist leader, and shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon as she finished second in assists to Courtney Vandersloot last year. Oh, 
lofts it up. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. And, Ed, you know what the worst part about this whole thing is? Usually when a defender bites like that, that means that they're being active. They just guessed wrong, man. Oh, it leaves the defender in the dust. Knocked loose. Storm have it. To the rim. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. And you best believe that every one of those that goes in fills the confidence meter. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Wings have it. Lost it up. The pass set it all up. Plays like that remind you why Alicia Gray was the rookie of the year in the WNBA in 2017. We get a whistle and a timeout as they'll get a minute to regroup and talk things over. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Layup try. Nice finish at the rim. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, Sign me up. Layup chance. Easy path to the rim. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. That's off the side of the rim, no good. Here comes the screen. Knocked loose. Wings have it. From in close. Count the basket. And it could have been more. No whistle. Liz Cambage, the Aussie, the leading scorer in the WNBA last year at 23 points per night. That was an easy one. Knocked loose. Nothing going here on that drive. Here comes the screen. Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. You better get back on D. This thing is not over. That one's stolen by Dallas. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Wings have it. Knocked loose. Storm have it. Knocked loose. Wings have it. Storm have it. Here comes the screen. 